Hey everybody, this is John Trawbus from policyviz.com and on today's short Excel tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to format your zero baseline, the zero horizontal baseline in your Excel graphs. So let's move over to our data. I've got some simple made up data here. Imagine this as being maybe percentage change from one year to the next. So I'm going to insert a line chart, very simply. I'm gonna go over here, click that one with markers just to make it easier. I'll move it up closer here just so we can uh, see it, make it a little bit bigger so you can see it again. So I'm just gonna click around and now I'll make the font a little bit bigger just so you can see it. All right, so what do we have here? We've got a simple line chart where the line varies between positive values and negative values. Now, I don't love having my horizontal axis in this position primarily because the line sort of overlaps and you can't really see the values. It's also not necessarily clear on a moment's glance that we're varying between the positive area of numbers and the negative area of numbers. So we're gonna format both of those things. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move those axis labels to the bottom of the chart and then we're gonna format that zero axis number, uh, line so that you can very clearly differentiate these two areas. So I'm going to select my axis, I'm going to select format axis and in my format axis menu, I can change the position of the labels by going down into labels and under label position, I can turn it to low. And as you can see, it's still linked to that horizontal line, but they're now at the bottom of the graph. And again, if I click out of here, if you were looking at this graph on a moment's notice, you might not be able to differentiate or clearly see that there's some positive numbers and some negative numbers. So let's make that zero axis grid line a little bit darker than the other ones. So again, I'll select my axis, I'll go to the paint can, I'll change this line to a solid line. I can change the color to a black or a gray, whatever color makes me happy, and maybe make this a little bit thicker so it stands out even a little bit more. And then I can click out. And now when you look at this graph, it's very clear that we have some positive values and some negative values because that horizontal darker line that's differentiated from the rest of the grid lines in the graph makes that clear. So when you are creating your graphs, especially line charts, when you have positive values and negative values, make sure your zero axis line stands out and is clearly differentiating these two regions of the graph. So come back for more videos and more how-tos in Excel and improve the way you visualize your data.